Coming up on this episode of Repo Man Uncut. Who gave you finance on a T-Reg? No, 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 no! The car still is and we haven't given him a paperwork. Definitely. Why do you want to do something like your new car? Get away from my car. Mate, it ain't gonna happen. You right? need to call some more people because Mate. you ain't taking your car. I honestly thought you was a gunner. Who <laughs> 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 think you are? Mate, oh, <laughs> <this> shot, mate. <laughs> Sean James is one of Britain's most successful repossession agents. A Gulf War veteran whose life has led him into and out of hundreds of dangerous situations. No, 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 no. With 17 years of recovering property for finance companies and a complete lack of any healthy fear for his own safety, the repo man has built his reputation on succeeding where other repossession companies have failed. You fucking idiot! All right, mate. Even the repo man needs backup. And that often comes in the form of X Forces Marine H. Let me get out. Oh, here we go again. Right, my name's today's job. Um, it's a bloke who works at a skip company. We've been to his house, spoke to his mum. His mum's mum and dad's turned around. He don't live here anymore, which he doesn't. They won't give us any forwarding addresses. Being a bit of idiots about it, but we've got his works address, which is a skip company, which is in Burton. So we're just going to go to a skip company and get him at work. Be a good one, wouldn't it? Getting people at work can be tricky because obviously people don't want their boss or workmates to know we're in debt. They can sometimes pay up or let us take the car to get us out there quickly or they kick off because they want to save face in front of their friends. It's always fun going onto people's places of work. Can't see him being very happy being in the skip business. Waste management. Be like Sopranos. Hey, get Paul here. <laughs> they own pigs. We're out of there. My H about a mile away now. We just go in, look for the car. It's a 54 plate Punto. Even when we turn up, if a bloke's not there or he's out driving, his car's still gonna be there. Well, that's one of their wagons, isn't it, H? Should we just follow it back to the yard? All right, this looks like the place, H. Rick, Keen, yeah, Fit Punto, 54. Yeah. Just going to have a look around the back. There it is. Yeah, 54, yeah. So one. Car's there, no sign of any pigs. Good to go. And give him his paper. Is Rick Keen about? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Is it Rick Keen? Can you turn your engine off, please, mate? So I just have a chat with you about your car, mate. Yeah, your car's up for repossession. Do you want to have a walk around the corner? Away from, you, away from the people. See, we've had to come to your work's address. We don't want to embarrass you about it. Things are needed. I'm stuck with your fuck out of here. Is that a part to work? Yeah, but that's not that's our problem, is it? Yeah, but it's not our problem, is it, really? We've called you for a few days. No, we've it's been hunting for your car. Well, finance company have been looking for your car for ages. You didn't give them any forwarding address and you haven't made any payments. So, the car's got to go. There's yeah. your repossession warrant. I don't really want it, but keep it. Mate, you've got to keep no. it. You can have it. Tell you what I'll do, I'll put the post it in there. Well, are you going to go and empty your stuff out yeah, then? I'll get my keys. The guy's understandably pissed off, but at the end of the day, he hasn't made a phone call to a finance company for six months. With one phone call, he could have sorted it out. If he just called to try and sort something out, I wouldn't have to embarrass him at work. Oh, you're sick. Let's go. 
Get him out. I can get him out. Mate, get out of the truck. Get out of here. Turn it off. The guy's gone berserk, but for safety, if everyone nearby my truck, everyone, I've got to get out of there. Get out. I think you are? Bellend. The fuck have you just done to that? My car, do what the fuck I want with it. Simple, eh? You want it? Take the thing, then. it up now, then? Yeah. Scrap weight to protect it. Piece of shit. Mate, that was my only way to work. Mate, do one. Oh, souls, both of you. Stay in that age. Can we still tow it? I'm a ring finance company. We might be in a bit of trouble here, because once we've seized the car, we're responsible for it. Look at the state of that. Hello? All right, so I'm Sean here from Donegal with, um, Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Rick Keane's car. I've come to his works place. He's worked at Skip Factory and he's completely smashed the car to bits. He's done too. No. Can you get him to take the workshop? Hang on a minute. Can I just put in hold? Yeah. H, she's saying we're giving him the paperwork. Go quick, go in the skip. The paperwork's still in the skip. Getting worried here because this could be a really big repair bill for us. Lovely, still got it. Hello? Hello? No, we've still got all the paperwork, we didn't give it to him. Right, let me just check with legal. Alright. Getting legal involved isn't good. Hello? Hello? If, if you haven't given him the paperwork, that car is still here. So the car still is then if we haven't given him the paperwork? Definitely. Alright then. Alright. Okay, Alright, thank you. Bye. Bye. H. We didn't give him the paperwork, did we? We chucked it in the bin, didn't we? No, no, no. We didn't give him the paperwork, did we? Oh, that's it. We didn't give him the paperwork, did we? No, no. No, that's good, because if we didn't give him the paperwork, that car still is. Really? So, yes, that car still is. So we didn't give him any paperwork at no, all, no, did we? No, we no, just no, come no, round, no, no. told him his car, we, was, we, was, we wanted to speak to him. He'd come up very He just, yeah. just smashed yeah. his car up. Should we go around and tell him? It'd be such a shame not to see his face. Still doing it. Well, we're still doing it. We don't want to take the car, mate. It's yours. Like oh, it's your car. We didn't give you any paperwork. See? It's all right. No, we didn't give you any paperwork. You did. Piece of my paper. We didn't give you anything, mate. You, you give me the piece of paper, you ain't getting me on. Car's yours, mate. I don't want it. You haven't given you anything. Check it. You've got them cut It's your car, it. you'll pay for it, it, mate. Just put it on the back of your truck. Do you want me to push it close to your truck so you can't move it out? It's your car, mate. I don't want it. Check it. Keep it. Come on in, H. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. Why would you want to do something like that? Your own car. Why would you, why would you want to do that? It's your own car, H. You're asking me. There's nothing queerer than folk. Watch it, H. Don't want to hit it. Don't want to hit it. Oh, you can see it there, mate. Sorry. On the Marky's car now, do we, H? Oh, the dog. He's lovely little 54 plate tunnel. Uh, right then. I can't believe it's done that. Have a little wave goodbye to it. Bye bye. Coming up. Yeah, it's a repossession order for your golf. On a Sunday. Sean has his patience pushed to the limits with a cocky customer. And an unusual repo gives them a tough decision to make. This car's not worth anything. A bloke's sleeping in it. A car doesn't start. Sunday morning, best time to catch somebody tucked up in bed. The boys are hoping for a nice quick repo on a black golf and be back in time for Sunday at dinner. Yeah, so it should be a good one today, H. I think he's just gone into six months now on his payments, so you think he's just one of those who just disconnects his telephone and thinks no, nothing's going to happen to him. Apart from he's got Sean and H coming for him. <laughs> Lucky doors! With my wingman. Wingman, hey, take you under my wing. Look, look at that wing. Look at that for a wing. Oh, you couldn't be under a more safer wing, could you, H? Look at that. I'm telling you, it's 
telling you. <laughs> always good to get them on a Sunday morning, isn't it? Well, you're always in, isn't it? If you tap in, tapped in bed. Trying to sleep off his hangover. Sleeping off his hangover. He's probably sleeping next to it. There's some bird in the bed with him. The area we're going is probably his cousin. Ooh! Ooh. We're doing him a favour by taking his mind off it, won't we? <laughs> he might not have been enough for her. She might see you and go, hey, come in, big boy. I, I'm going to go, no, hey, oh. <laughs> You have to serenade her. You have to go in there. What the? Serenade. You're going to have to go, hey, 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 hey. is in town. <laughs> I'll deal with this, Sean. You just put that. <laughs> Which address is it? Flat 2, Crescent Avenue. Sitting out. That's the one. Yeah, it's the area, right? You see a golf? 54 plate. No. Is that behind the bins? That's a 54 LTO. That's the one. That's the one. Nice looking car, Sunday morning, in and out, 15 minutes. <laughs> right, you just wait with the vehicle, I'll go and see where he is. It's got to be these flats, isn't it? I'm going to go in, go round, the doors. There's an alley, I'll go down I'll here. I'll try that way. Right, you secure the vehicle. I All can't right. do the door knocking. Good luck. Oh, here we go again. Hi oh, mate, Simon Lewis in. Simon Lewis? Yeah? Yeah, it was a reprocession order for your golf. On a Sunday? Yeah, we'll work all hours, mate. Not today. Car's going. It's out today. The car's going. I'll you haven't paid, have. have paid for six months. Ah. Would you want to empty stuff out of vehicles? Your car's going. You know, not today. I can sort it Monday, tomorrow. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take your car now and put it in a secure compound. You are. I'll, I'll just drive it off. Okay. Who works on a fucking Sunday, man? What do you do? I'm taking my car. Hey, there's another bloke down there. You ain't gonna drive it off, are you? Look, it's a Sunday. No one takes my car on a Sunday. I'm just driving it off. Mate, your car's not going anywhere. H. H, mate. He's on his way down to drive his car off. He's about 10 stone wet. Hey, you reckon he's going to drive a car off? I would run down and help you, but he can't handle him. He should be in the job. Oh, come on. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, mate. There we go. Sorry? What are you doing? Looking after this car. No, you are. I am. No, you are. I'm taking it. I'm taking it, mate. mate. Dude, move away from my car. Please don't do that. Mate, mate you know I'm what telling you now, yeah? What? You're going to have to move away from my car. No, I'm telling you. Mate, look. We both know what's going to happen. Move away from my car. Mate, dude! Mate, just Stop move away it. from my car, listen to Stop me. Stop it. It's going to take more than you and your mate up there on a Sunday morning. Look, <laughs> look, mate, I'm telling you, you now, I'm telling you now, no, I'm telling no, 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 I'm telling you, it's going to take more than you and you to get this car off me. Move out of my way. Mate, I'm taking my car. You're not taking it. It's a Sunday morning, mate. Take it. I'm taking my car and move away from me. <laughs> can't believe this guy's going to screw up to us. Can't admire that, but he won't get anywhere. Hey, just get the keys. Look, you're the taking key, my keys. Bam, empty your stuff out. Mate, the car, mate. Oh. fuck off out my way. You and you, back in your van and fuck off. You're in debt. I'm not in debt. You paid for this car. It's a Sunday but morning. Yeah, you're wow, to... this guy really didn't like us wrecking this Sunday morning. Take the car. Mate, look. You. <laughs> mate, it ain't good. Mate, mate, look. Get away from my car. Mate, 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 well, I bet you don't take my car. We are. Mate, we are taking the car. 
he's tougher than some of the big blokes we see. Just about to say that. He's, <laughs> Every it, time he's pushing, he's bouncing off he's, us. But he's ready to go for it, same way. I mean, you think we've got to worry about the big dudes. Check him out, mate. <laughs> we've got his keys, so we've got his car. We're going to get him to empty his stuff out, or...? Um, oh, he's got some right shit in here. He's got jump leads and everything. Oh, he needs to, he needs to empty it. I'll get him to pick it up later. Simon! Simon! Mate, look. I'm telling you, you ain't taking my car today. And just empty your stuff out of here. We're not going to take your stuff. We can just drive off with your stuff in it. No, you, you ain't. Stuff. I want my stuff, but well, you ain't taking get, my car. Come and get your stuff. Come and get your stuff. I don't want to come down there and get my stuff. I was yeah, down there just and you was coming aggressive with me. You come down there and get it. Yeah, but you was coming aggressive with me. I wasn't going aggressive with you. You was coming aggressive with me. I'm just going to empty your stuff outside in a minute. I paid for that stuff. I'll just take I'll just take it then. I want my stuff. Right, I'm going to get your stuff. I'm going to chuck it out here. What gives you the right to touch my stuff? I'm just going to chuck your stuff out. I'm going to chuck your stuff out then. I'll chuck your stuff out then. I'll chuck your stuff out. You either want it or you don't. Look, it's your stuff, mate. Look, there it goes. All on the pavement. You haven't paid for the car. Yeah, they have. I'll forget it, right? It's just Sunday night. Oh, forget it. Paul! Paul! Hey, just go and get the truck turned around. Paul! Give me a hand. Fuck them down there. Sean and Ian have arrived to repossess a golf from a young lad. Yeah, it's a repossession order for your golf. But despite his size, he's proven yeah. a tricky customer. don't often go after people after I've got the car. This guy could have killed me. I've seen Sean lose his rag a few times. But when that washing machine hit, I knew it wasn't going to turn out well for the customer. Hey, you want to fucking go over, do you? Do you? Ah! Mate, mate, you can turn the car. Think it's mate, funny, mate, do you? Take it off me, mate. Do you? Fucking hell. Mate, okay, you want to okay. go over? Think it's funny. Mate, mate, I don't look like I just take yeah? it off. Think it's okay, funny, okay, do you? Okay, okay, you can. Yeah? Mate, don't drop it. Mate, think it's funny, do you? Mate, yeah, Sean, don't funny. drop him, we've got other words. I didn't have a Think it's funny! Think it's funny! Think it's funny, do ya? We've got other words. Mate, I don't like how you just take me off. Prick! <laughs> Believe that? Mate, I thought you was dead. I thought I was dead or him? You. Hell of a way to tumble dry your clothes. What are we going to say to a finance company now? Look at that. Yeah, What's the finance company going to say now? How many cars we trashed? It's a bit of damage, yeah. I'm going to have to say to him, look, it doesn't look like a golf, but sounds like a golf. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't even open that. There you go. Here's your car back. We've got a drink in the car. We need a drink, mate. We've got some water here. How old is this water? What's he doing now? Is he for real? Mate, look, can I just have my washing, please? You've had my car, I just need my washing. It's not enough, he's just tried to kill me. Now he's taking the mick. You just leave me to find my washing. Can I have my washing basket, please? You've got dust on it, look. <coughs> look, you're getting gravel in it. Can you fold it, please? Look, get look. Him out. Hey, just get him out of here, mate. Mate, Find just have my washing now. basket, please. Yeah, fuck off. Me out. Room, mate. I think I've left a shirt in there. It's my best shirt. Mate, where are you going? Mate, mate there's nothing left in here, mate. Yeah, there is. I'm missing it. Put you in there in a minute. I'm trying to be nice about this. Try to be nice. Just drop down my fucking head. Hey, get him out of here. Mate, I'm just trying to be. Look, I think it's over there, look. Mate, you're going to be look, there in a minute. You've had my car. No, you can't have my shirt as well. I think it's still, it's still there, look. My shirt. Get him out of look, here. Look, look, look. Hey, he's coming over to bang you out there. Put you out. Well, you, if you keep that, I'll let you keep that shirt then, mate. I've got what I need. He was like a rat after some cheese. He just wouldn't give up. Can you believe he's just come and got his washing? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> what did you give him his tail back for? God of my persistence. 
I don't think Sean agrees. Excuse me, mate. Um, could you just check if my sock's in there? Oh, fuck off. No, look, look, you've already had my shirt, mate. Can you just check if my sock's in there? My nan bought me that for Christmas. Are we really, are we really hearing this? It's just, it might just, it sometimes it gets stuck in the drum. Can you just check just inside the... Something? And why the fuck's it stuck in the drum? I don't know. Because you dropped it on the car. No, you just... Stay there. Oh, uh, no, you can keep it, mate. And the shirt. Don't worry about it. It's OK. After everything that happened, I was just happy to get down. Oh, don't want to get the washing machine. Oh, dear. Whoopsie daisy. Hey, you can have that. You can have that, mate. Do your washing. Take it home, she misses. She like that. This guy's gone away smirking. He's chucked a washing machine on the car. He's dented the roof, completely wrote his car off. We then take the car, scrap it. Measly money we get for it. That comes off his bill. He still owes a massive bill to a finance company. So he's just created more problems for himself. So at the end of the day, we're the ones will go away smiling. Jobs are good, aren't they? If you, if you say so, it's falling off it. What'd you make of that one in H? Eventful. Who for? Me or him? Both. Do you think he Pretty changed quick. his tune when I dangled him off the thing? He did, but it's like he got his balls back when he came back from his washing. He was a little shit as well, wasn't he? Surprised if he'd done a little shit too. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Well, if, he, if he had done a little shit. Yeah. <laughs> could you? When I was dangling him over, I could actually feel his trousers <laughs> coming off. Could you see his little bum? Oh yeah. I could see it all, man. <laughs> see it all. Did he have skid marks in his pants? Wow. If there's none in your hands, then there's none in your pants. No, 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 no. It smells of peanuts. No, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, 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 no. Where's my water? <laughs> I'll put my hand out the window. I'll put my hand out the window. You got some hand gels? Ah. Oh. I can feel his trousers coming off him. I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to drop him. <laughs> You know, it wouldn't have killed him. Just broke a few limbs. Well, it depends if it landed on his head or not. Mate, I was pissed. Yeah, no. I didn't know I could get up that wall so quick. He did get up there pretty quick. And the wall even buckled, didn't it? <laughs> 18 stone of repo man hanging off a wall. Thing is though, his mate ran off. I noticed. I don't mind, his mate ran off. I thought, you little shit. Shouted so then he, he, he stayed. He stayed to have a go. Jobs are good, then. Jobs are good, then. Well, it's a bit bad, but you know. They send us after the ones our yeah. agents can't get. But at least we get them. Yeah. Even if they're in the state, we still get it back. Oh, look at him with his nice Ferrari. Oh, yeah. So I made my first million when I was two. I don't know if it's on finance. Yeah, but it is, isn't it? It's <laughs> credit check it. Go back for it later. Oh, I've got a good one for you, H. What's that? When we get back, you can always take the car for a spin. Take off for a spin, do you like that, don't you? You like that one, don't you? <laughs> but on a serious note... Yeah, go on. Do I get danger money for that job? Danger money? No! You can just take your coat off. It's a coming out you out, isn't it? I didn't even see it coming. All I was in the car and... BOOM! It's like, what the... Fuck! Did you not hear me shout, no, no, no! Mate, it's I just exploded! My ears still hurts now. Lucky the roof held out. No, the glass, see, the sunroof went all over me, shattered. Look at all the injuries I've got, H. Got glass in there. The thumb. Stay out, little baby. That's gonna fall off. Stick a needle in it. I will stick a needle in it later. And he needs a little prick. I didn't use them. <laughs> Still get paid. Mate, we seriously have to stop smashing these cars up. Coming up, Sean and Hitch have to find a customer and car with no fixed abode. Oh, oh. A new day, a new challenge. 
Sean has had a call from the finance company about a slightly unusual situation. Right, job today is a very funny one. The call we had this morning, I had to make sure I understood it right. The car was nowhere to be seen, the bloke was nowhere to be seen. I wonder what H is going to make of this one. I've got a repossession order. All we've got is this bloke. His local area, apparently been kicked out of his house by his missus. We've just had a, a phone call. Someone's basically grasped him up and saying he's living in his car. He's got a massive big rental space. So he's living in a big rental space on the side of a road. Really? Yeah. So. Side of a local road. Yeah, that's what we've got to go on. No house to visit, no doors to knock. This guy's living in his car. Bit sad, really. So, um, this dude's living rough and sleeping in his car. Yeah. So what we're we gonna do with him once we get the car? I don't know, mate. We'll just give him a lift anywhere he wants to go. So, I mean, Salman's down on his luck anyway. Wow. It's all a bit vague. All we know is the silver spas. It's by the side of a road somewhere. He might have been moved on or gone on himself by now. So I'm getting married. Four sods. <laughs> Rather be out repoing. Well, there's the island, H. There's the school. Go down to a junction. He's supposed to be here. Car there? That's a white one. That's a white one. Is that a car there? No way. Yeah. You lost. <laughs> no, we ain't lost, mate. Oh, is it Michael Morland? Yes, why? We've got a repossession order for your rental space. I'll be paying the bills. You have enough, you mate, been sleeping in it. Come on, let's be fair, look at it. We've just had your course, you've been I sleeping have in like, it. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It's, I'm down on my arse, mate, you know what I mean? I can't afford any payments. Does anyway. it even start? Mate, I've got the key. But does it start, though? Mm. It doesn't even start, does it? How long no, has he been no. dead? A couple of weeks. I've been sleeping here, I can't wait. Really. You've got a job at all? No. no. Don't make any payments? No, I ain't even signing on or anything like you, I mean. I, I can't make any payments, I can't wait. You can see what was it given to me, just living here, like you, I mean. I've got all my stuff there. You mind if I have a can? Yeah, hey, knock yourself out. So, what's going to happen then? Well, car has to be repossessed, mate. Is there anywhere else you can live? It's fairly obvious. The bloke hasn't got the money. He isn't going to be paying this off anytime soon. You're going to have to sort something out, mate. Well, I can't sort anything out, can I? I ain't got no money. I can't pay her, like, you know what I mean? You're not working at all? No, not working at all, like, no. Car don't even start. Two seconds, mate. This guy hasn't got the money to pay. It's only a T reg. So I decided to call the finance company to tell them the situation. Hello, I'm the finance. All right, Sean here from Donegal. And they sent us out for this Michael Moreland one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that this bloody Renault? It's a bloody T reg. Um. It's not I'm worth. Not sure it's not worth know. anything. This car's not worth anything. A bloke's sleeping in it. A car doesn't start. It's worth about seventy quid scrap. This bloke's got this on finance, right? <sighs> You know, I don't know how much he's owing. I mean, it says here he's still got like £354, and then plus his other agreement's not even worth that. If I was you, I'd let him keep the debt, and then eventually, if he gets on his feet, then he can pay you. I'll even waiver my 295 quid. I'll even, I'll even waiver it. That's a first for you, Sean. I know it's a first for me. I don't feel sorry for anyone. I mean, the car is not worth taking at all. I understand where you're coming from. Do what you think's best. All right then, speak to you in a minute. Bye. Okay, bye. Hello, fella. You managed to sort anything out? 
You know, you're better off keeping that car, and then when you're on your feet, yeah. then ring up the finance company and pay for it. So and they've left it up to my discretion. Yeah. So you're going to let me stay in it? So you can If it was a nicer car, not being funny, mate, I'd take it. All right? But it is, it is a, a nicer car. You're living in it. And it's a T Rage. I don't even, Who gave you finance on a T Rage? My mum asked me, Mrs. has left me like, you know what I mean? I'm in the sheets. Or, you know what I mean? So when you get a job then, you'll be able to pay yeah, for that? Yeah, when I get a job, like, I will pay for it again, like, you know what I mean? I've been making, I've made payments anyway before. I've just, you know, I've just been on my arse, like. I can't remember the last time Sean just didn't take the car. Yeah, when I get some money. Who's this? Hello, John. Hi, Michael. How you doing, John? Yeah, mate. What, you're, uh, what No, no, no. Oh, what's going on? Hey, how's ages, that? Middle of nowhere. And a bloke pulls up. Mate, is he giving him money? Michael, come over here, mate. Step into my office. Tell him, sir. Excuse me. What's that dude? No, mate. He's just giving him some money. Yeah, yeah, he works for me. Oh, I said, mate. Yeah. So, well, 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 how much did you just give him? 250 quid. 250 quid. What's going on? Pardon? What's going on here? Talking to your mate. Talking to your mate? Yeah. Talking to your boss? I don't What's work for you. I don't work for you. Hey? He's just paid you 250 quid and you don't work for him now. Hey? Trying to say this guy wasn't his boss. The bloke had just given him 250 quid. The whole situation's dodgy. I'll tell you something, you'll be fucking lucky to have a job on Monday, mate. Boss, uh, eh? Well, yeah. Can't believe this. Try to help someone out and you discover they've got a job. I wasn't having that. I don't like being lied to. You got me the fucking sack and everything. You didn't have a job just a minute ago, did you? You got yourself the sack. You ain't taking me car. We are going to take it. I was going to let you keep that, you know. They mugged me right off to the finance company. I was ringing up, telling them I fucking felt sorry for you. The car wasn't worth taking, you convinced him. Mate, we're taking, mate, we're taking, mate, we are taking the car. Get the fuck off me, car. Come on, man. The, the car's going. End of story. Why do you take the car? Car's going. It's in warrant. I'll leave it on your chair. Hey, start emptying his... Mate, stop fucking around. This, I suddenly gone from Sean fighting the guy's corner to help him out to just fighting the guy. Calm down. You're going to calm down? <laughs> No. no. H, come on, get this bloke where we are. Yo, come on, just take him off, mate. Starting to think this guy's not right in the edge. He's the tiger. You, you've lied to us. We were trying to help you out, and you're just taking the piss. Yo, mate, you can't take me car. Stop now, mate. Just not. Listen, dude. Listen to me. You're not having the car back. End of story. You're getting money. You could have made a payment. Yeah. Just settle down. Have a fat. Have a drink. Do something. I love that one, but that one's yours. The squirrels can have that. The finance company will still pay us. Car's worth nothing, but we're taking it now. I can tell you, ain't happy. If there's one thing you don't do to Sean, that's lie to him. Yeah. You can make a payment if you want. Dave, you give us that 250 quid, I knock it off your bill, and I still won't even charge a 295 recovery fee. I ain't paying. This bloke really wasn't getting it. So you've got 250 quid, you get to keep your car for probably about another month, somewhere to sleep, and now you're saying you ain't paying. Forget it, I'll pick it up. Just Come on, on, mate, mate, just let him, just let him do his job. For fuck's sake, what is your problem? The guy's desperate to keep his car. He's just been given 250 pound cash, and he still won't hand it over to keep a roof over his head. You've got money, why are you not going to pay it? You can keep your car. You want to fuck about it as well. Mate, oh. damn it. I'm starting to feel more and more like a mug now for taking pity on this guy. He had the money, he had a place to live. You know what, mate? Best thing for you to do is sit down, have a drink, take the weight off your feet. <sighs> what the fuck are you doing? Dude, what the f... You all right? Are you for real? What's wrong with you? At this stage, I just wanted to go. Really don't know what's going through this bloke's head. You just threw a can at me. Good state of the truck. That's two cans. That's me car, that's me house. Need to pay 250 quid? This car's dead. I'm going to have to push this on. Oh, mate. Mate. Well, we will once each stops pushing it back.
talk about unpredictable. You wouldn't give him fireworks, would you? Calm down, will ya? Oh, fucking hell. Hey, just go around that way, mate. Go around the way. Mate, what the fuck are you doing? Hey. Mate, you ain't gonna get another one. Whoa, whoa. We needed to restrain him before he either hit us or the truck with the rocks. Mate, what is your problem in fact? Don't mental, ask that. mate. Don't. Fuck you, mental. You're telling me you're mental, you mate, I can see that. Just chill out. Wouldn't you have been honest if somebody took your arm off you? Mate, I would have found the finance company. At the end of the day, I would have made contact. You haven't done none of them. Thank you, this. But yet you want to take it out on us because of your fault. See now you're cool now, and now probably two minutes down the line, you still you're gonna flip out again. Settle down. One careful owner. Look what you've done. Getting a bit loony tunes. You need to be sectioned. In fact, have you been sectioned? Yeah, I'm mental as a march fucking air, mate. Mate, they should have kept you in, really and truly. Look, look, look at all the havoc you're causing. Just chill. Let us do our job. If we can try and help you out in some way, we'll do that. But not with you chucking rocks and the fucking kitchen sink at us, mate. You got no chance. So just, just chill out. Let's just hook the car up and we're gone. Now look at all the waste of good beer. We're gonna to have to drop this guy off somewhere. We can't leave him in the middle of nowhere. Mate, he's... Have you ever been sectioned? Yeah. Yes, mate. <laughs> 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 mate, did we... No, we're in the deep end here, mate. <laughs> Your medication? No. Should you be on medication? I think so, yeah. Does anyone know where you are? No. No family members are No nothing. family, no nothing. You asked me earlier on, like I told you. Like. You need to tell us you've been sectioned though, had you? Would have saved no. a lot of time and hassle. It won't get me car back, would it? Right, where can we take you? To an hostel. Do you know, do you know where a hostel? Yeah, I know where there's an hostel. Where? Uh, there's one in uh, Warsaw. And I'm a near Warsaw. He's thrown beer cans at us, he's attacked us, he's chucked rocks at the car, he's done everything. But at the end of the day, we can't leave him there on the side of the road. We've got to get into hospital. Mate, you're going to have to sit in the back of him. Oh, come on, mate, I can't do that. Why do you want me to sit in the back? Mate, hey, when have you got a knife? Hey, we haven't even searched him, he's in Mate, I'm not going to search him. Can we search him? We'll have to work with him to search him. You really want to go for it again? He's I've got no right to search him. I've already taken his car. Well, I'm going to ask you straight. Have you got any knives or anything on you? Uh, you got no, no you got no shots whatsoever. Uh, you got needles? No, uh, no, take drugs. I didn't ask you if you took drugs, just ask you if you got any shots. Uh, I've got no shops, no blades, no nothing. All right, get in, the, get in the car. Mate, just go with him. He's in the cab, he seems pretty calm. Bit of tidy all his stuff up there. My gaffer don't help anybody, anybody out. You're the first person we've probably tried to help out and you've, you've practically tried to kill us. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, Lord. You're actually a danger to yourself as well, actually. I can't believe you've just gone down that to the car. It's supposed to be your own and you've just gone and put a few bits through it. As long as you're all chilled now. Yeah, I'm cool. all fine now. I ain't got no sharks on me or no drugs or anything. Watch over, mate. I don't want him sitting behind me. In the end, taking this guy's car might not have been a terrible repo. Might have just been the push he needed to get himself sorted out and see a doctor. Mate, behave yourself, all right? Hopefully, a hospital can get him back on track. He needs medical help more than he needs a car. How come you had such a big car? Originally, you didn't buy it to sleep in it, did you? Nah, I had the kids and that. When was the last time you sectioned? A couple of months ago. Hopefully the hospital can sort this guy out and put him in the right direction to sort himself out. Yeah, thanks for uh, doing this for us. Mate, you are really lucky that we are doing it for you. Yeah. How long have you been separated from the missus and kids? 
uh, couple of couple of months. Is your drinking have anything to do with the separation? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just need to settle down, just take things easy from now on, man. Try to get yeah. yourself back on your feet. Take it one day at a time. Definitely go in the hospital if we drop you off, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not going to charge you 295, all right? Awesome. Just if someone's genuine with you next time, don't kick off. Yeah, I was yeah. generally going to let you keep your car. Why didn't you just, you got 250 quid, why didn't you just like make a payment? Where did it to live? Why didn't you just give the car back? You got to, you know, if you start getting a nice job with that bloke, you can get yourself a little B&B &B or something. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. You know, you could have given that car, you could have just given the car back to a finance company. You could have just given it back, started working for him, asked him for a loan, he seemed like a nice bloke. He's going to give me a job now, isn't he? Have you got his number? Yeah. Do you want me to ring him? Nah, uh, I'll ring him myself. Man, I'm just going to have to pull over in the lay-by up here, right? Yeah. You have to walk down to the hospital. That's I fine. Won't be, I won't be able to spin it round, so I'll just pull over here. I was happy when I saw the hospital. I really didn't feel comfortable in the back with that guy. Right. Right. Do you want me to ring your boss for you? Nah, you're alright, no, no. Will he give you your job back? Don't you? I'll ring your boss if you want. Nah, if you nah, give me his I'll number, I'll just explain to him. Nah, it'll be alright. Oh, sure. You sure you're going to go to the hospital? Yeah. Next day, on Rebo Man Uncut. Sean gets more than a close shave with a female customer. Hey, so you promised him 1500 quid. Mate, ain't getting nothing for this. Someone tries to sell a car on finance, but should have done his homework as he took it to the wrong garage. Kick it off, eh? And Sean relives his old Navy days with a nautical repo. Aye, aye, Captain.